The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, I have two very excellent stand-up comedians. First, he is the not-your-stereotypical gay receptacle, Mr. JP. <laughs> Come receptacle. That's what I meant to say. My I bad. mean, I'm not not one of those things. <laughs> I, know. I mean, oh, my bad. What happened to the glittery noise? Oh, I'm sorry. My bad. <laughs> there you go. My bad. I forgot. Thank, I don't know if glitter you, is really a noise. But that's it. If <laughs> yeah, glitter was, was a noise, noise that, that would be it. it. Fairy dust. Uh, but anyways, we also have him back. He is the 2021 funniest person in Wichita, Kansas, Mr. Derek the Wreck Alders. Yeah, I didn't enter that year, yeah. apparently. Yeah, no. You did. You were still doing your time from 2015. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that, that's probably accurate. Yeah. yeah. You never got off stage. Uh, uh, that's okay. He, they he, say to I this like day, to JP's still on that stage. <laughs> yeah, they say to this day. <laughs> he's killing he it, though. He's that building. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, fucking killing it, though. I did kill it. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure just saying. <laughs> uh, not bragging. Oh, shit. We've got an excellent show for you guys this week. Um, yeah, you know, if this is the very first time you've listened to one of these full episodes, change it. <laughs> no, don't do that. You're going to miss all the fun. Uh, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me and that's fine. This is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many people as we possibly can. So if you don't like that, you're in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Bye. Um, but yes, we do have a fun filled episode. Glad to have Derek back. So that can, makes two of you. Yeah, so he can bring everybody down. Mm-hmm. Um, we got current events, as always, un- overrated or underrated. New segment that Derek hasn't been a part of that JP actually likes. Hey, man, I, I dig this one, Derek. I know, I know. That's decent. It's called, okay. that's, it's called That's Where I Draw the that's Line. That's Where I Draw the Line. And we have right. questions and preguntas, as always, a fun draft. And Normally, the line ends on butt stuff for <laughs> Scotty. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it that's doesn't. That's where he draws the line. Oh, oh. man. Uh, but we also have a shitty situation that we always end up with. But before we do that, it's been a while since we've had uh, all three of us on. Uh, so we're going to do our week, week recap, as we always do. But we're going to start with with jp because jp sounds like shit yeah man don't i i mean i don't know sound, what happened you bro. sound fine you said your no. voice was gone and i'm just like it sounds like you're when normal. i woke up it was gone it's uh, just slowly coming back oh that's good but that's not good yeah i don't know whatever yeah. did you do anything fun yeah man i did actually did you i uh went sport clay shooting no shit yeah it was fucking awesome that's great went sunday yeah uh buddy of mine was like man like, I've literally shot a gun probably once in my life, and it was with him. Yeah. And he's like, man, you should come, you know, clay shooting with us. And I was like, he uh, he's the coach of the circle uh, shooting team. Shooting team, yeah. So I they all meet out there. I thought you were going to say cinema. They, yeah, the circle <laughs> he, he cinema. He coaches out at the he circle cinema. He coaches out at the circle cinema. Competitive no, jerking. No, he's... he's uh, really really great guy but he was like man i'll pay for it you come out practice with us he was like i think you might have fun dude it was a blast yeah no shit literally Pun intended. yeah it was yeah. it was a lot of fun Did they so, give you a nerf gun or gun or a real gun it was a real gun man, man. really it was a shotgun I only give me i only shoot nerf yeah I, go, I like to go to the range with my nerf gun every now and again <laughs> yeah you should just show him who's boss just show him who's boss uh-huh. dude because yeah. you know what? If one of them pisses me off, I can shoot him and not get arrested with the Nerf gun. <laughs> I mean, I could shoot him and not get arrested, too, as long as nobody else is around and I buried the body in a safe place. Yeah, yeah. That's exercise. I'm not into that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It yeah. does. It is a lot of work. Yeah, you Especially tried. if you shoot one of those little fat shits. <laughs> yeah, like me. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah. Uh, I'd just you leave you lay where you were. I don't think anybody would mind. No. 
People would probably just be like, oh, okay. Derek actually has that I tattooed think, as a tramp stamp on I, his back. I think Nobody the cares. buzzards would no, actually nerf get... Nerf or nothing. Nerf or nothing. Yeah. I think the buzzards would actually get full off my body. Yeah, they would. <laughs> they just be like, yeah, i just be fat buzzards. Yeah. They, could, they could just fly yeah. like this high off the ground. They're like, oh, man, fat carcass again. <laughs> <laughs> We've had this the last week. Yeah. So you should got to shoot some guns. Did that, smoked was some it, pot, played some video games. Did you smoke pot and shoot guns? No. You didn't? No. Aw. Makes it more That's fun That's a no-no, way. Scotty. <laughs> did you smoke pot out of a gun? I'm not. I mean, I did not smoke pot out of a gun. You should try that. Yeah. Yeah. Mouth over the Make barrel sure and loaded. everything. <laughs> Make sure it's loaded. <laughs> yeah. It makes it more fun. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, that's right. Yeah. Cool, Just man. Take out the firing pin, you know. Yeah. No, leave it in. Oh, okay. danger. Leave oh, yeah. Okay. You don't want to take it out because what if, yeah, no. What if it's your time to go? <laughs> yes, yeah, I guess so. What if somebody tries to rob you while you're smoking your gun pot? Oh, yeah. True. You yeah. got to be able to shoot them. This is true. Uh, did you do anything else that was fun? I heard you bold. Yeah, man. Derek, uh, Derek's going to be on my league this year. It's just total uh, bullshit. So we went and bowled, and uh, I bought a new bowling ball. <laughs> And I kicked his ass with it the first game. <laughs> yeah, the first game out of the box, I wasn't quite sure what it was doing. But then the second game, I had nine spare in the first and then eight open. And then I figured it out and had the back ten. So Okay. okay. Yeah. That it means absolutely nothing to me, well, but I'm assuming that's good. It's good. Ten that's good. I really like the ball. I think it'll be great. Okay. But. And you're and you're still waiting on the other yeah, ball. Yeah, man, I can't wait for that one to get here. So you are one of the few people that actually have three balls. Oh, I have eight. Oh, oh you have eight balls. <laughs> yeah. That's, wow. And that's amazing. If we're looking toward the future, I'm guessing it's getting into up around 12. <laughs> okay. Is that what it's yeah. going to be? I, I think once I get to 12, I should have everything I need, I hope. Okay. All right. Well, but then they're always coming out with new shit. I don't, you know. I don't want to hear a fucking thing about my golf club. I ev- still ever spent again. less on my eight bowling balls than you have on your one golf club. I don't know. That's not true. <laughs> I was going to say, I that's, don't think that's a lie. Math does not add up no. here. About 250 a ball. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Suck it. All right. Anyway, you spent what a thousand on a putter or something? Didn't no, it's uh, a driver. driver. Yeah, but Tiger driver. Woods' coach like fitted him for it and everything. So then I can't hit the it. motherfucker right now. I don't know what's going on. Well, That's, maybe you should call Tiger up and see if he give you some lessons. I, you should, I tr- should. I got him on should, speed dial. You should try smoking pot out of it. I should. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that might work. Yeah. Calm me the fuck down. Mm-hmm. See. Yeah. I know where you can me. get some. <laughs> I'm sure. I do. I'm sure. I, you. You have plenty. Uh, but no, how about uh, how about you, Derek? It's been a while since you've. Uh, you've oh, that was all that I did. Oh, is, was it? Yeah, thank I, you for. I, I'm sorry. Did you asking? Do, did you do anything else? No, I think that was it. Okay, then shut up over there, Derek. <laughs> what have you been up to? Well, I went to work and then I left work and went back to work. <laughs> so a lot that, of times. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fourteen hour days for me. Whenever I have the uh, have baseball going on, so oh. it kind of fucking punches me right square in the dick. Yeah. Um, Thank God somebody should. God, you know this. They watching this team feels like a punch in the dick. Yeah, I shouldn't mean, say that. I mean, I work for the team, and but man, are they tough to watch? Uh, pitching. Yeah. Well, defense. Defense. Too. Yeah. De- yeah pitching, everything defense. but the hitting. The yeah, hitting, hitting is a, it's it, all it's streaky, but but the pitching is just yeah. god damn it. Yeah, uh, they got one guy that uh, the f- he pitched two weeks ago and gave up nine runs and didn't get out of the first. Uh, Holy can, shit. Then, he, then he pitched the other day and gave up eight runs through three. Uh, his ERA only went up a quarter of a point. <laughs> yeah, wow, he so pitched like forty some odd right innings. Then. He did all right then. <laughs> I saw the day he was on the injured list, so uh, I messaged the radio guy and I said, "Injured list? <laughs> what the fuck did he injure? His self esteem? <laughs> Probably like, you shouldn't just cut him." Yeah, we we like to call those short outings. Oh my god, he's yeah. terrible. That's yeah, okay. Uh, I'm I have a trainee at my other job. Okay, and uh, she's nice. However, uh, she does something that I've never had anybody do she finishes my sentences and it's not even like we're thinking the same thing i mean it'll be she'll just it doesn't matter if it's work related or not like i'm like i gotta go to the bathroom you gotta go to the bathroom yeah yeah bathroom and it's 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 that so now i've figured out how to uh combat this i just stopped finishing my own sentences (laughs) so now it's like choose your own adventure training kind (laughs) of it's like yep that's exactly what you do that is correct uh i don't know i would be thinking of other words to say that you think she's gonna be like correcting you or whatever Mm -hmm. instead of i'm gonna go to the bathroom just sit there and just like come up with the worst name for a toilet i'm gonna go the shitter 
or I'm going to go. That's not t- the worst name. Well, I mean, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I would try to throw that in there to where she stops. I got to run to Jesus's mouth. I'll be right back. <laughs> like, that's you, that's a go. bad name for a toilet. That's exactly right. Do that, and I guarantee you, she stops. So that's no, she my, won't. Oh, it's, I would yeah. just put a dick in her mouth. <laughs> well, you mm-hmm. could do that. That's uh, that would be. Uh, Harassment, probably though. bad in the workplace probably huh? yeah everybody's like i don't know how you do it that you i said because here in a couple more weeks she'll be somewhere else and they have to do with it <laughs> so i'll let them handle that okay. there you go i'm That's fine funny. with that yeah. and then i've just i've been tired a lot yeah yeah i told my wife I'm, well you're fat fat people are tired they get tired. Well, we, are, we do yeah. uh yeah but just all the time i'm tired so i yeah. uh I thought about trying cocaine. Oh. Well, and that'll help you lose some weight. <laughs> well, that's true. But then I looked at my bank account and thought, oh, maybe I'll a... sell cocaine. There you <laughs> so go. I think, there you go. I think, think that's the right move. It could be. Uh, By the way, anytime either one of you want to trade bank accounts, I'm game. Okay. Well, you would have a whole lot more money if you didn't buy a new bowling ball every three days. <laughs> no shit. There, there Man, is that. I did not, the last time I bought one, was the fruit punch one? It it's was been a while. No, because you bought another one that you were waiting to go and pick up. But that one—that's the one that's coming in two weeks. Oh, yeah. Okay. So he bought one yesterday, and then here in two weeks he's buying another. <laughs> he's buying another one. Yeah. I mean, not quite like a week and a half if, uh, we're, if we're counting down days, uh, which we are. It's yeah. like fucking toys in the eighties. We got to collect them all. That's yeah, right. Dude, that's what it they're is. like Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking Jesus ridiculous. Christ. Uh, oh shit. I went and uh, I did go to a comedy show uh, a couple about a week and a half ago. Yeah, I, I had a day game on Wednesday. This not this past one, the one before, and went down to Vorshays and watched Sam Norton, who came. How do you? Oh, do? Sam's awesome, man. He's probably like Sam. Not only is he a great dude, but he's fucking hilarious too. Yeah. So he did. He did great. He's phenomenal. He sold he the really place is. out. That's awesome. Uh, Vorshays, I think, is starting to try to do comedy every week for now. That's what I kind of guessed a, what was going to happen. It's a trial run. It's Thursday, Fridays, and Saturdays at seven mike baldwin was just there this last week how'd mike do i'm sure he crushed i i don't know i've been busy yeah. but i mean I'm he sure. probably did okay I, mean, uh, I don't know if i'd say he crushed let's not fucking fill his he, head too he was he's, there he's awesome i know dude he's a stud but he, he let's brought, not tell him okay just let just keep it on the dl, keep it on he, comes, the DL. he comes on here enough now yeah and he's bringing tens of fans from listening right. to the show right he so. was there wednesday at that show i did and he fucking crushed i'm sure yeah he's so, awesome but yeah it was it was good i i enjoyed it i got to talk to biggs for a little bit and who i i fucking i know i love Biggs, so i got to have a conversation with awesome, him. awesome man Good so for you. It was. Uh, I'm super happy for you both. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No problem. So, uh, yeah, I had a great time. That's good. Good so, man. Anything else at all? No. Nope. Nope. Going to see Oppenheimer in a couple days. It's nice of you to ask, though. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's <laughs> my man. I'm sorry. Cool. JP, we just know you bowl and smoke weed. I mean, dude, you threw I did us a curveball today. Yeah, I did. You did throw us a curveball. You today. you did. And the other thing was, is I thought you were actually full of shit. I didn't think no, you actually really went did. and shot yeah. guns. I was yeah. waiting for you to go. No, nah, I'm just kidding. That's what one of my friends did. I stayed home. Right. So. That's what I did last week. Yeah. I'm not going to pull the same tricks I did last week. I don't know. There's going to be one show where JP's like, well, I bowled, I smoked weed. <laughs> And ate pussy. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> what? And all of us are going to freak what the happened? fuck out. Dude, it's to the point I might start. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost there. Just material for the show. You'd have to have a lot of money. You can borrow Scotty's helmet. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 deal. Yeah, yeah. deal. It might be pink. You never know. Yeah. I have, then I would. That's still. I think that will Breakfast, always. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I think that will always be one of my oh, favorite she's clips. So hot. No, it's just so fucking oh, yeah, funny because I was. I, was I thought you meant the actual color. Like, oh, I would hope it was pink. <laughs> like, I'm gonna eat some dark red pussy. Like, <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. Gross. I know better than that. Yeah, come up with Kool Aid mustache. Thank you God. don't want to do that shit. Uh, well, I tell you, you're gonna go see Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm going I, on. Friday. I did go and see it. Um, I'm obviously I'm not gonna get the ending away. Because nobody, yeah, please don't. Because nobody don't knows. It. Uh, but uh, it's it's loud. They I'll dropped the bomb, <laughs> they, don't they? they? they Those, damn it, Scotty. Yeah, but uh, it's fucking loud. If you go yeah. see it in the IMAX, yeah, holy shit! Um, and I, I said it was excellent. It was a great, great movie. Um, it is rather slow. If you don't know what's going on, you're very confused. But the thing that like shocked the shit out of me was all of the really subtle actors that are in this movie that you know from other shit from a long time ago. Like yeah. Johnny Sins? I don't know who that is. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, just... <laughs> he, he was in the pictures you printed out. Oh, maybe. Okay. 
Uh, but no, Tommy Sins. like <laughs> what, one of my favorite movies is uh, is Lucky Number Eleven. Have you ever seen that? Yeah, yeah. It's a good the, movie. The main character yeah. is in it. Oh, really? And you kind of don't. Bruce Willis? No, no, he's not the main character. And I don't even know. He was a popular actor in the early two thousands, but Josh he kind of fell off. Yes. Um, but the other guy, do you shut Good the fuck up? Good for you, dude. Yeah, no what? shit. It's like for he, knowing it. Yeah, yeah, I'm actually very impressed. Josh um, Hartnett's hot. Do you remember watching? Oh, I'd let him slevin all over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would. That would not be his lucky number. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Uh, but do you remember? Do you watch the Santa Claus right with Tim Allen? I never. I like maybe saw pieces of it while my nieces and nephews were watching it. So in that but movie, I wasn't a child then, okay. like you guys were. That's true. You were born in the '60s, so that makes sense. Yep, you um, got it. You but uh, summer of love, <laughs> summer of love, baby. <laughs> Can't we all just get along? It, Peace, I, love, and that free was the penis. '90s. <laughs> Peace, yeah. love, and free penis. <laughs> oh God. But anyways, in and the Santa Claus, there's a, a head elf, and his name is Bernard. And never saw him again, ever. He is actually in Oppenheimer, and I recognized him, but I couldn't put two and two together. I had to look it up, and I'm like, holy shit, that guy's in the movie. So that kind of shocked me. But there was a, quite a few, and I thought it was a great movie. So you will enjoy your time. Um, so I did that. Oh, um, you have permission now. You, yes. Please I, go to the movie and enjoy yourself. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're allowed. You're allowed. Yeah, okay. perfect. You know what? Maybe smile every once in a while, you fucking prick. God, you sound like one of those guys that tells the ladies to do that. You know, if you'd be a lot prettier yeah, if you smile more. If you'd more. smile every now and then, fat girl. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, but the other thing I'm really excited for is my wife is going to be out of town this weekend, so I have all kinds of fun-filled activities. What? What? I'm free all weekend. I No, we're good, JP. I, I'm very scared if you... <laughs> oh, God! No, that's fucking weird, dog. That's weird. That just no, dude. It won't be weird. No, it's totally. You won't even be awake. I have never been so. <laughs> Look, man, you won't even be awake, bro. I promise, it won't be weird. Holy shit, that was very weird. Uh, but no, I'm really excited because now I I can do whatever I want. I can go golfing and and not have to worry about phone call, which I can do anyways. Feel but. a man in your small intestine. No. <laughs> No. Is that the one that's on the top? <laughs> oh God! It's the little one. Uh, yeah. Well, not uh, anymore. Uh huh. Uh, but no, I'm very excited because I, I I get to go. She's going to do stuff with the girls. Fucked for, him. What? I basically wrecked him. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, she's going to do some stuff for some for a wedding that we're both in, and I I chose to stay home. So I'm very excited to do whatever the fuck I want, eat whatever the fuck I want, and I'm just going to have a blast. Do you not do that now? Not as much as really? I would like to. I yeah. like a, well. I think all of us need alone time, right? Oh, for sure. I really value that. <laughs> I, Nothing. You know I who, need say, you know who says that? People well, that aren't alone. That's, yeah. just, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm good on the alone time. Yeah. I need I need adult supervision. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. true too. I need an adult. But you definitely do. Mm-hmm. But like I'm gonna do stuff like like take up the entire bed. Like stupid shit that you don't think about until you're married. Like I'm going to f- just absolutely take up the whole thing. I'm I'm gonna I, I'm I'm not one of those people that walk around naked. I'm not that guy. I'm a never nude. I Good always wear I always wear well, clothes until JP gets over here. No, then. no, that's one of those uh, chastity it's belts. Okay, that I'm, I'm bringing scissors. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! You're gonna limp around naked. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck! God damn it! This is so awkward. God, oh, man. hobble. I think is the word. <laughs> hobble, hobble, hobble around. around me. Yeah, you don't want to hobble around me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, but probably the most important thing that I did, and I'm very excited about it, is um, we kicked off the fantasy football process of a league that Derek is no longer in because he quit because he's a fucking pussy. No. And and I uh, just got better shit to spend my money on. I'm sure. But the best part dude, about it. If you think I'm gay, fantasy football, oh, dude, that's gay. It's, it's the best thing ever. It oh, makes me so God. happy during football season. But I the, just lost all of my votes for anything after saying that because all your people play, uh, probably play fantasy they football. They do. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. It's fine. It's right. But the best part about all of it is, is this year we started with a clean slate, so the draft order was completely randomized. Douchebag got first pick. I don't know if you know. I don't even know who that is. Patton, okay. of course. But uh, we all agreed that uh, there's always like a a toilet bowl at the very end and whoever wins that is like supreme douchebag of the league. But whoever gets the worst team in the league is going to get the Alders Award 
that has a picture of Derek's face on it. <laughs> that might have been the most uninteresting story I've ever heard you tell until the last 30 seconds. It, cool. it says, I lost, I pouted, bitched, and moaned, and I'm never playing fantasy football again. And right at the but bottom. But I didn't lose. Uh, yeah, you did. You didn't I won. win. I won the toilet bowl. I uh, know, but you didn't win. Uh, but anyways, I was very excited. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my week. I'm excited for my wife to go out of town, though. So it's uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. All right. Yeah. Uh, but now we can move on to the current events. A uh, lot of shit. A <laughs> lot of shit. What? The first one, man. <laughs> what? What? I You'll actually, see. I, I got, actually got something about this. But, uh, Me too. But obviously, I think it's pretty, pretty much taken over my, my Twitter. Not even a Twitter anymore. My X feed, I guess you want to call it, whatever. Uh, but the U.S. women's national soccer team gets eliminated by Sweden uh, after uh, losing in <laughs> penalty kicks. Do you hear what Trump said? I don't care, and it's oh, not a political dude, show. Best. I don't give a shit. Oh, I, I, it was hilarious. I here's the thing. It's funny. No matter who fucking said it, if some, I, if I don't some care. Some celebrity said it. I could say it. I don't care. I don't care. It sucks. I, I was really hoping for them to to do well. Um, except for when I saw a video of a child going up to ask uh, Rapino for an autograph. I don't know who Rapino is. Uh, she's uh, feminine. She's the blue haired one. Feminine. I don't know. Go ahead. Though. Okay. And uh, at, was asking for an autograph, and she totally didn't recognize even even as a person didn't like look at him just like sign the ball and was like looking away and just completely like shun him and that that pissed me off more than anything she signed it uh she signed it but that's i, I think i think especially coming from people like us i think if if we go to like an autograph signing or something like that we not only go for them to get it signed but I think you want to have some kind of memorable thing. And we always tell our friends, if we got so-and-so to sign something, if they were a douchebag, we tell everybody. And I think that is something that a lot of superstars, athletes, that they just don't get. It's when they treat their fans like shit like that, I, I can't like them anymore. I don't care what she stands for politically. I, I, I couldn't care less. I mean, there's there's no way. But the way that she treated a child, I was like, Really? Fuck fuck you. And so I'm in her defense. Just, I hate kids. <laughs> I mean, like, true. I would treat them the same goddamn I'd be like, get away from me, you dirty bastard. I, I mean, okay, fine. But out of character, I, I'm just like, no, I, I can't I can't be supportive of any of that. So but I'm not glad that they lost. That sucks, but uh, it's also women's soccer and nobody pays attention to that unless you're, you know, a women's soccer fan. So could it's a, it's, it is what it is. I don't think anybody pays attention to soccer unless Ted Lasso is. Okay. Ted Lasso is a fucking amazing show. It's not the most hilarious show, what I thought it was going into, but it is a fantastic show. Absolutely fantastic. You watched it? I'm in the, uh, we're in uh, the end of season two right now. Okay. I'm, I'm blowing through it because it's, it's excellent. Coach it's, Beard gets shot in season three. Okay, that's fine. I'm, I'm totally excited. Uh, I, I love Roy. Roy, is, Roy Kent is the best. Oh, I we're going to hate season three. Okay, well, thanks, man. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Um, moving on, uh, the Orioles play-by-play -play announcer Kevin Brown has been suspended indefinitely for talking about the dismal past of the Baltimore Orioles. Did you see that? Yeah. Did you hear what Trump said about it? I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> God. Thank God this isn't a political show. Uh, um, it doesn't have to be a political show for me to say something that somebody said. I know. I uh, mean, but, just saying. But it was weird. I was watching them break this whole thing down, and it turns out that the whole Orioles front office uh, didn't want him to say anything about the Orioles sucking for the last, like, five years. Really? Yeah, that was why they suspended him. Boy, he would have been great on the Cubs. No shit. Uh, it's like, whoa, dude, he wasn't saying anything bad. I was waiting for him to, like, badger some player on their own team or – or even like I was, I was really kind of waiting for like some, him to say something like prejudice or some shit like that. But I know you were waiting never on that. Came. You're like, amen, brother. Uh huh. Yeah. That's. Uh, but no, I was like really waiting for it, and I'm just like, Jesus Christ, this fucking is getting a little bit out of hand. You're 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 basically suspending him for saying the truth, which is kind of shitty. Um, but yeah, I didn't like that. But anyway. Uh, moving on to the next one, I actually watched the fight between uh, Nate Diaz and Jake Paul. Did you watch it, Derek? Tell me you didn't buy it. No. Okay. I would not buy it. There's God no. Damn. No, I didn't watch that shit. Oh man, it's I'm, not a fight. It's I, just a. It's if, a display. It's a show. Yes. If I were to pay for it, it's rigged. 
I would be. It is. It's that is. Oh, no, for sure it is. Uh, in a way, oh, maybe. 100%. Mayweather. Mayweather They're held up it for Logan money, Paul. Bro. Mayweather held up Logan Paul so he didn't go down. Um, like that's. I mean, this that shit's completely. It's. It's. It's fake. I I watched. I'm glad I watched it. If I'd have paid for it, I'd have been pissed. But luckily, somebody on TikTok had that shit on live, and I was like, okay, I'll watch this. And um, <laughs> yes, yes, Paul won. It, obviously, he's a boxer, and uh, Diaz is not. Uh, but I think the way that they're portraying this, the big, huge fights for boxing that are getting all kinds of money and shit like that are all of these kind of fights. And I think it's actually ruining the reputation for boxing. Absolutely. Uh, I don't, I, like I said, I would watch it, but I don't want to pay for it. I would totally pay for a UFC fight between those two on the other hand though. And uh, that's exactly what Paul said at the end of the fight and said, let's run it back. Let's do an MMA fight next. I will buy that one because it's a real fight. Yeah, he said that for like two or three years now, though. But why not? Let it happen. He's not going to. Who, Paul? Yeah, he won't do it. I don't know, dude. And that's all he's doing. I mean, he's just calling out these old... He fought one boxer and got beat. Like, yeah, yeah, he, bad. And it was a boxer. It was fucking Tommy Fury. It was Tyson Fury's... Brother. brother yeah. yeah i mean it wasn't even it, yeah so there's no fucking he would get fucking his clock cleaned if he fought he's talking about fighting canelo a while back like canelo, oh, canelo would beat the, the shit out of him absolutely he would but again i still go back to i saw a cool video about mike tyson who he, he was breaking down the mayweather and conor mcgregor fight and he was saying, like, you are not giving Conor McGregor enough credit. He has never had a boxing match in his entire life. He went in and he did things that boxers that train their entire life to box couldn't do, which was touch Mayweather. And, I mean, he caught him a couple of times. So there is definitely a fighter's <laughs> chance or a puncher's chance whenever they go into a boxing match. But – at the same time, I think they're diluting their sport. I think it's. Big time. I think the boxing is is basically on its way out. Mayweather killed it. I think you're right. I think Mayweather killed it, and and I don't know if he did it intentionally, but I think it. it you're right. I think he totally did. It became points and running around instead of absolute ex- standing in the ring and slugging at each other. Yeah, I remember going and watching as a child, uh, Evander Holyfield and Mike Tyson, and that was like a spectacle. This is like a joke Mm -hmm. and people want to see it because they're expecting the nineties whenever it was like that, whenever you were looking for the knockout, it's just not, it's not going to happen. Well, they used to go 15 rounds. Now they go 12, 10, they went 10. 10. Now now they go 10. Yeah. Yeah. It was 15, then 12, now 10. Yeah. This bullshit. So I I think this is unfortunately the end is near for a, a lot of people that love boxing. You got, you're on borrowed time in my opinion, because I think eventually it's going to move pretty much to the mma side of things in my opinion oh i mean these but they're still going to be boxing and boxing oh, sure. there's there's money in the sport that it just it's just the popularity is declining is yeah. all it is yeah so you're not going to get nearly as many people buying these fucking 90 dollars pay-per-views i mean people will watch canelo that's all they're buying yeah i agree canelo. with you yeah i agree with you uh but anyways there was another fight did you see that fight yeah, I saw a clip of that. Yeah, there was uh, Ca- uh, Chicago White Sox, Tim Anderson versus Cleveland uh, Guardians. Jose Ramirez duking it out at second base. Both benches clear on a – I don't even know what the fuck. I, I guess I guess uh, Tim Anderson was kind of jawing back and forth throughout most of the game and kind of stirring the pot a little bit. And then um, I believe it was uh, Jose Ramirez actually ends up hitting a hustle double, slides into second base, and then slides under the legs – of uh, Anderson and they just kind of jawed back and forth real quickly. And all of a sudden Anderson drops his fucking glove, like throws it to the ground and like puts them up. Like we're like, this is going to be an actual fight. And at that time, the only person that was standing in between him was the umpire. And you see whenever their hands go up, the umpire like gets the fuck out of the way. Fuck. Yeah, I would do. <laughs> so would I, <laughs> but uh, Jose, Jose Ramirez actually knocks him the fuck out. Right hook. Uh, yeah, and it yeah. was like a no look open hand like connection to like right below his ear and jaw, and uh, you saw him go out. He obviously woke up, but did you see him try to walk off the field afterwards? I didn't see him go out. I saw him just a scuffle, and then they, the bank the bench is cleared. Yeah, 
then he came back out onto the field and again mm-hmm. trying to get, get back at him, and then that was what I saw. I didn't see anybody go down or get knocked out. So the cool part, there's a couple of actual footage, uh, different camera angles that actually watch him try to walk off the field before the first time he was into the dugout. He, people had to like carry him because his legs wouldn't work. They were just jello. He got knocked out uh, to the point to where he his legs were spaghetti noodles. And then he kind of came to and then ran back out on the field whenever it was still a scuffle. It was pretty awesome. It was like a seven to eight minute um, bench clearing fight. It was awesome. Did you see the kid at the Marlins game? Uh, no. Uh, it was the Marlins. He hopped on the field uh, and I don't know what his fucking plan was. But he goes out to the center fielder, talks to the center fielder. I think he asked for the ball. And then as soon as security gets on the field, this motherfucking kid's yeah, an dude, athlete. He was. I mean, he hopped the wall. Oh, yes, I did. Hopped the second level. Hopped to the third level. How the fucking that kid got caught is beyond me. But, I mean, he was gone. Like, there no was shit. no catching that fucking kid. And then they show him in handcuffs getting arrested. But I'm like, that kid, I don't know if that kid's a gymnast or what, but that kid fucking was gone. Good for him. Maybe he made a name for himself. Bet you he doesn't go into any uh, Miami games anytime soon. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. Yeah, it was either Miami or I think it was at City Field against Miami, maybe. I can't remember. Oh, but well. It was fucking great. Yep, sounds like it. Uh, moving on to football. Now we got football uh, coming back. Uh, we still have three running backs that have not been signed. Ezekiel Elliott, Dalvin Cook, Leonard Fournette. But they're all sounding like they're hanging out right around that northeast part of the country. Have you been paying attention to any of that? No. Uh, so basically, <laughs> all these three guys are going. Yeah, I like of course. How he asked you, like, well, come on, Mister no. Script Writer. Where would you want these guys to go? Uh, I'm not writing the script. Well, if you could write the script, where do you no, think? I look them? like fucking Vince McMahon. I'm I don't just, know where I, the fuck I, these guys. I, go. I don't know. You like to create rumors. So mm. where do you think uh, Ezekiel Elliott would, you know, go? Don't know his house. I don't know who's nobody's where fucking is. hiring Ezekiel. Elliott. Yeah, I don't. I don't know who's where now. I know who's on the Bears, and that's all I know. That's fine. All right, fine. You're I, a, I can't tell you who's. I know Aaron Rodgers went to the Jets. That's it. Yeah, that's true. That, that's all I know. He looks like Uncle Rico in one of those uh, in one of those Jets helmets. If you've seen pictures of it, I it's it's fucking hilarious. He just looks weird. Um, but no, I, I'm I'm guessing that uh, I'm guessing that Ezekiel Elliott ends up going to like the Jets. Dalvin Cook ends up going to the uh, Patriots. And uh, I don't know where Leonard Fournette ends up, so your guess is as good as mine. Um, last couple of things. Uh, eighth grade students at LeBron James's taxpayer-funded I Promise School have not passed a math test in three years. You actually sent that to me yeah. right after the show was posted last week. Yeah. So I wanted to, you know, give, what do you think about that? Man? I think it's fucking, they're prepping them for college. Yeah. I think, because, I mean, you don't even have to go to class if you're in college. Well, if, if you're you, good at basketball. If you're good at basketball. Yeah, that's, I mean, he's following right along what, they, what he probably learned. He probably never went to class either. <laughs> I mean, you got gar- a point. I guarantee it. He was signing his goddamn shoes and selling them, selling them in high school. Probably. So they're just following the LeBron James way is my guess. Yeah, probably. You know, uh, blaming somebody else if they don't get their way kind of thing. Um, I, need, I, I think they, it's hilarious. I think they need better tutors uh, to help those kids make, you know, better better grades in math. Everybody uh, you know, has, has praised LeBron James for shit like this, but he, is, is he's hands off. I mean, if, if he really gave that big of a shit about it, other than just putting his, slapping his name on the school. And, there you go. I mean, he's fucking, then he would do something about it, but he's, he doesn't care. He's producing a shitty product, Yeah, which I think is pretty much what happens. <laughs> I think your mom and dad produced a pretty <laughs> shitty product. <laughs> I agree with that. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. No problem, that. man. Oh, so much love. Uh, but yeah, they're blaming all kinds of other shit of the reason why the the like the core or the scores are low because it's been in the last three years so they're blaming covid which all right i mean in zoom schooling probably didn't work but the teachers getting used to the environment and shit like that i mean come on fucking please it's got to be a pretty goddamn good environment if it's lebron james's school i know come on guys get some other excuses uh flop on the floor or some shit uh next one oh Le- boy my favorite person to talk about on this show because I don't like her one bit. And I got so much shit. I got I got so much shit for talking shit on Lizzo. I really did. 
I said that Lizzo was not a good role model, and it turns out Lizzo is now being sued by her backup dancers because they were forced to eat bananas from uh, set work, sex workers' vaginas in Amsterdam. Where the fuck did you get that? Yeah. It's uh, actually a Was thing. Joe Rogan or something? No. Is that where you heard this shit? Where the fuck did you get that? I've heard that she I've, body right. shamed them yeah. and harassed them. But I, don't but know I didn't hear of any of, of that shit. This was... Uh, I'm not going to say it was the onion or anything oh, like that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. that's where it was. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it. But if this it is It was true, her vagina. They had to eat the bananas. <laughs> and it wasn't bananas. It was by fudge the, sickles. By the bunch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the fudge they, they had to eat fudge sickles out of her puss. I know, but just the, just to make it even way worse, if that were true, oh, what a cunt. I, I've never liked this They call that a thing. glizzo. A glizzo? Is that yeah. what they call it? Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. I'd be all right with that. Uh, but yeah, apparently a she's poo nana. <laughs> yeah, right, <laughs> right. Uh, but if this if this is true, I mean, come on, can we stop going to her shit? I mean, this. I is just, just think re- it's funny that she body shamed people. I think so too. You well, know that the- bitch. Hey man, if you're getting body shamed by Lizzo, you've let it go too far. <laughs> yeah, that is true. So, yeah. She's just being real. Uh-huh. I always used to like when they would play that fucking Truth Hurt song at the on the jukebox at the bar when I worked out there. I would immediately fast pass the next song to be Ho by Ludacris. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And uh, last but certainly not least, the that motherfucker is not uh, is not real lady. Yeah. Has been identified. Is, yeah. She so thank real. you. Uh, her name is Tiffany Gomez. And um, I think she's out of Texas, I believe. And I saw a picture of her and I'm like, yeah, seems about right. Looks pretty hot. So good for all of you people out there we sincerely appreciate it uh did you have anything else that you want to talk about i just like wrote a whole bunch of i shit can't now. believe you didn't say anything about the fucking call you do do you not do college sports not anymore no okay oh the ku game I mean, no there's a no there's a fuck ton of shit going on conference wise like oh like the big, ten, big 12, big 12 and fucking 16 teams oh uh, well about. good for them yeah, but, yeah whatever okay you, and then Oregon i get it whatever you don't want to talk what about do you we don't talk, talk about, about. No. no i get it man no, that's fine. i finally figured it out actually if you know something about it no I, i'm over it oh okay i, don't I was, just, I was gonna it. say fire away <laughs> let me see what espn's got here we'll look something up really well you told me if there's anything i wanted to talk about okay we'll go let's for see it what we got i love how you i want to talk about what we're going to do this weekend uh well i don't know what you're doing but i am going places that you will not be at i don't know about that uh i may not even come home now because i'm scared <laughs> oh here's a fun fact okay you're a piece of shit that's the headline yeah, actually that was Stuart scott's dying words <laughs> oh what's that Scotty Gervin <laughs> is a piece of shit oh uh, well that's messed up i'll take Stuart. it from, from Stuart scott yeah that would be kind of cool Derek even is if you such did. a dick he was i was he was like my favorite ESPN analyst of all time. And he ends up the day after. I forgot about this till recently. The day after Stuart Scott passes away, he shares the post of Stuart Scott passing away with his tag at the very top saying, so I hear ESPN is hiring. Yeah. And then a guy that we both know comments on it and he's like, Shit, Derek, give it at least 30 days. And Derek immediately responds, in 30 days, they won't be hiring. Because you're a fucking dick. That's true. <laughs> it is true. They but it's 100% the, true. But did they fill the spot? They yeah. sure did. They sure pretty yeah. quick. And sure. that guy got laid off with the rest of ESPN <laughs> like a week ago. <laughs> God damn it. What? <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone. Oh, Jesus. That Anyways, was a Chris Berman whoop. I know. I yeah. heard. I, okay. rec- I recognize Uh, But anyways, now we get to move on to the fun parts of the episode. We get to get to the segments, uh, which again, guys, if you have any suggestions for any of these, you can send them to us, which is on Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines, or you can send them to our Twitter slash X, which is uh, at L O T sidelines, send them to us. I'll go through them. And if we like any of them, uh, we'll give you a shout on the show and do your suggestion. Uh, if I haven't responded to you in a while, it's probably because we've already done that one. So uh, keep sending them. We appreciate it. Uh, but overrated or underrated, take a couple of things, and we get to give our opinions on whether or not it's overrated or underrated. Self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, go and bang on your head with your own tack hammer. Appreciate it. Uh, first one. <laughs> Who has a tack hammer anymore? <laughs> yeah. That's, um, those, you didn't, oh, you didn't watch the episode. You weren't here. Uh, transabled it. people. Yeah. I was waiting for you to come uh, up to me and be one of those transabled people. The fuck are you talking about? They're people that think that they want 
to either not have use of their legs or their arms or be stupid. And so they actually go and voluntarily have somebody make them that in that condition. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have to work anymore? <laughs> right. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Like if, hang on a minute. <laughs> Yeah. I give up both my legs to not work. I don't even have to have the opera. If I eat enough sugar, <laughs> true. I don't have to have my legs anymore. Diabetes. That's right. <laughs> yeah. And you know what? Brownies and not Willard working. Willard Scott says fantastic. if you just eat oatmeal, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's why I don't eat oatmeal. Oh, Jesus. Anyways, uh, first one, overrated or underrated, musical stand-up comedians. Overrated. Wow. I can't do it. I, I mean, no. way overrated. I, I, it's like, and especially when that's pretty much, they don't have any, like some you'll see a 50, 50 that'll have material and then they'll go into a, a funny song parody that they wrote or, and it's okay for if you've got like one, but when you've got like 30 minutes of that shit, yeah, it's a lot easier to write a song. Now, not necessarily to play it, but to me, it's a lot easier to write. I could write a song parody in fucking five minutes. Yeah. That doesn't take me long at all. I yeah. used to do stupid shit like that. I just never did it on stage. You legitimately came up with a hit rap song called Little Ass Dick off the top of your head in like three seconds before the question was asked. I got bars, Scotty. I know you got bars. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, but JP, you said overrated <laughs> as well. Vanilla pudding. <laughs> no, my That's rap, your rap name. No, That's your rap name. It is yes. Vanilla pudding. My rap yes. name is MC Donald's. MC Donald's? Oh, I don't know. I like vanilla cake. I think that would be all right. Well, nobody said that. Nobody said cake, man. I know. I did. Uh, vanilla uh, cake eater. Something like MC that. Don McDonald's. Yeah. MC Donald's. I don't like it. Oh, we no. got it. I, we get it. It's, I didn't think Scotty it. did. He's pretty goddamn dense. No, I'm not pretty good. You know, Grimace had a birthday. Yeah, I heard. I heard he was killing people. <laughs> what? Yeah, Grimace had his, a birthday. Yeah. Oh. I, see his, I saw his shakes were fucking people up, man. Wow. Good for him. Uh, how is McDonald's going to have a promotion on a milkshake <laughs> when the ice cream machine is always broken? Yeah. Well, how does that happen? They bring all the boys to the yard, man. That's what I hear. Yeah, that's is. why I drink them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why Scotty keeps mixing them. Oh, funny. Uh, JP, you don't like uh, musical stand-up comedians, apparently. No, I don't. I think it's they're overrated. I think there's very few that are good. Yeah. And entertaining. I think there are very few, but there are a few that uh, my friend Kristen Key is phenomenal, and she's a musical comedian. I she's a great person. She's funny. Besides that, though, yeah, she has she's, material. She's got material. Yeah, and but she's amazing. She's really good. But there's so few whoa, and far between. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? lesbian. Yeah, I know she's a lesbian, but okay. I love her anyway. Okay. Oh, I know you don't she, like that. Not only is she a lesbian, she's probably my favorite lesbian. Good. Yeah, yeah. I still have one of her guitar picks that she gave me when she was doing shows here nice. one night. Um, so if you would have asked me this question before I started doing the show, I would have said they're way underrated. After hanging out with uh, like everybody who's been on the show, just talking to stand-up comedians for the last four and a half years, I am I am shocked with how overrated they actually are. You know who I can't stand I'll that get, everybody loves? Hold, I know who I, you're going to say. Hold on a second. And I this think, is the one that killed me the most. Yeah. And I'll get there. Oh. Because everybody fucking loves him to death. Oh, I can't stand him. I never Rod, have. Rodney Carrington. Nope. No, that's not who what you were going to think I was going to say. But before, I get, before we go to you, Rodney Carrington is not the country hillbilly that he portrays he doesn't have that accent most people aren't like that they there's, aren't. A, there's a guy Larry that just the cable tours. guy there's a guy that tours that Same you know way. you probably wouldn't even know but his name is john wesley austin i've and heard of him his real name is john boston oh, okay. and he guy has this whole thing about being country and yada yeah dude is like the most least country dude you'd ever want to meet yeah he is such a fraud dude and i hate him oh shit I, I forget. But I, that's I, not who I was going to say. I was going to say Bo Burnham. Actually, uh, yeah. I never have liked him. Uh, that, I mean, he may be a great guy or whatever, but oh, I can't stand watching him on stage. I it just it's actually, cringy. I, I was actually going to say, like it. I actually was going to say that would be the one that I actually don't mind. Yeah, I figured. Well, because yeah. because because uh, like the first forty five minutes of a show when he's not doing that was is actually pretty decent material. Yeah. But I completely understand. Yeah, I'm just not a um, fan. But the other and i'm so sad to say this but uh we did have a stand-up comedian pass away a couple weeks ago i was waiting for jeremy joseph to come on and and say something but it it's been a while did you see who oh wolves man 
Oh, Donnie yeah, Baker, yeah, Donnie Baker. I did see that. Yeah, and that really fucking sucks. And we lost Pee Wee, man. Yeah, man. Ha! Damn that it, yeah. that does suck. That dude was. I love that guy when I was dude, a kid. Paul oh. Rubens was a pretty special dude, actually. Didn't he get like arrested for jerking off in, in a, porn a fucking porn theater where you're supposed where you're supposed to, supposed to <laughs> fucking jerk off? <laughs> they made it like he was his yeah, big goddamn. Man. What would have been a perverted thing to do is yeah. to review the movie, <laughs> right? Right, right. <laughs> like not sit in there and in jack there, off. If he was in there in his pee wee yeah. suit, just fucking watching the movie, <laughs> that would be weird. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> I give that two dicks down. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that's pretty good, dude. That was pretty good. Uh, I mean, no, Donnie Could Baker. you do that, like? Uh, do like on cue, like the whole Pee Wee thing. Well, Could you know. dress in a suit like him? <laughs> do you you want to come over to Scotty's next weekend? <laughs> We'd wear two different size suits, JP. Oh, I mean, I understand it's going to be a bigger suit. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. God damn it. Uh, but no, Donnie Baker's one of those guys, too. He doesn't talk like that. That's yeah. that's a persona that he puts on. Right. But it's but extremely that's a sad. difference. There's a difference. Donnie Baker will show you who he truly is. I heard yes. he's a really nice guy. He's, an he's not trying to fool being. anyone. Correct. That's the difference. Yes. He's not trying to fool anybody. He's um, just showing you, well, hey, this is what I can do. This is... All I was all I was going to say was the people that have the... Uh, what do you call it? It's not an act, but it's like the character if you say skit i'll punch you in the no, head no that's not what it was okay, going to be it, it's good. it's when they have the gimmick is what i was going to do when oh, they gimmick. have that okay. gimmick like, so uh, that includes like um oh, the people who sound like their country when they're really not the people that sing about in the half of their show and they're not you might music. be a redneck that's if. the one i was getting to <laughs> jeff foxworth who granted he's he's he, awesome he's great he but he's great. about the only one i like exactly out of that. Yeah. Yeah. but I, he's I like real I'd go, I'd go see i'd I like go Ron White see, uh, I like Ron White. I'd go see Foxworthy. Yeah. John Wesley Austin, I heard a fuss story about from a couple comics I was working with in Oklahoma City. And there was a deal where he we were talking about John Wesley Austin. He said that he had come out one night. He It was like one in the morning or midnight. And he walks out in the, in the condo and he's in his underwear with a pistol. I don't know, and the comic yeah. was like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And he's like, I thought I heard a girl out here. Thought I heard voices. I thought you got you're not supposed to have girls in here. And he's like, There's no there's no girl in here. And he goes, Who messed with the thermostat? <laughs> and the guy goes, Maybe you should shoot it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, yeah, he did a, an interview when uh, you remember when Michelle was doing interviews before shows? Yeah. And then they would play the interview to try to get people to come to shows. Yeah. They did approximately a twenty minute interview and then he goes, Oh, stuck cut he goes we're gonna have to do it all over and she just like the look on her face when he said that was like what the fuck are you talking about we got to do it over and he's like i forgot my accent oh the whole fucking dude, yeah, dude i was like you've got to be fucking kidding that me bro suck. you have got to be he's just a douche <laughs> anyways anyway so all of us like say overrated. cowboy bill martin's a piece of shit too and i like cowboy bill martin. <laughs> yeah. now he goes by bill martin well right? that's fine okay yeah. well anyways it's all subjective so anyways uh next one overrated or underrated Not really we know okay overrated or underrated cheerleaders okay See, this could go either way for me. <laughs> Are we talking about like female cheerleaders? You do you, dude. Okay. Female cheerleaders, overrated. Okay. Male cheerleaders, probably overrated too because they're so spunky. <laughs> and I'm just, I don't like that. So I say overrated all the way around. I bet you didn't expect that. Uh, I, um, God, I can't believe I'm saying this, but overrated as well. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to be a professional cheerleader? You've got a couple of options. Not saying that they're not there, but really? They don't even make that great of money. You could be Dallas's cheerleaders, and that's like the superstar uh, of what you do. So, no. This is, and they don't even really serve a purpose. Does anybody go to a basketball game anymore? Cheerleaders start yelling something and everybody follows along anymore? I don't think so. I, I got to watch the cheerleaders. I'm sure you yeah. do. Yeah. But no, I'm going to say overrated. So, Derek? I'm going to say overrated also. Okay. Uh, reason being is they just had Wichita State's cheerleaders at the stadium not long ago. And I'm like, all right, fuck yeah, cheerleaders, all right. And then they brought some of them up in the booth to do, like, they have this guest PA thing. And they brought, like, three or four of them up. And I'm like... These bitches look 11. Oh, <laughs> like, God. I, I could not 
fucking like i'm officially old yeah you i are. have to go start watching milf porn now i can't watch <laughs> i can't watch any of these bitches that claim they're 18 after that shit yeah like, i'm like oh my god they're kids you find yourself clicking on the mature category yeah. on pornhub yeah god. i want to see some fucking road rash on these bitches <laughs> now like i i can't no ah, that's weird <laughs> Yikes. Uh, I want to see that scar you got from a bar <laughs> fight in fucking 89. That's what I need to see. <laughs> or a C-section. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, the window, baby. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyways, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Sleeping with your worst enemy's mom just so you can talk shit. Underrated. I'm a vindictive son of a bitch. <laughs> I say underrated. I would even do that. Yeah. <laughs> yep. God damn that it. That would make it worse even if I did it. We right? are all petty pieces of shit. Underrated. Oh, yeah. That is a clean Way sweep. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Your mom's calling me, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's going on? <laughs> I'll be over in a little bit. Yeah. Thanks, right, man. Bye. Appreciate it. Yeah, we are all vindictive, petty little shits. I think all of us would totally do that as long as we weren't married. Right, Derek? Oh, I'd still do it. (laughs) And as vindictive as my wife is, she's fucking my mom (laughs) to get back at me. For sure. Yeah, my mom's going to get railed. (laughs) Wow. (laughs) By my wife. By your wife. (laughs) Yeah, that son of a bitch. (laughs) I got a candy cane strap on for that. All right, uh, next one, overrated or underrated, telling someone else's kid that Santa isn't real. Oh, way underrated. <laughs> way underrated. It's not even close. Actually, I want to back. I want to backtrack on that. Okay. I want to say that's overrated. Why? Because I would rather tell my friends, kids, that Santa is real, but he'll only give you if you're good. He'll give you everything you ask. Yeah, for. that's <laughs> like all the best toys. And if he didn't, then that means your mom and dad don't love you. Oh, like I yikes. would fucking totally do that. Oh, man. So you're just going to traumatize them for life. Absolutely. I want to make them think they did something wrong or their parents right. don't love them or their parents have to fucking take a loan out on their 401k. <laughs> God damn it. They don't even make PlayStations 9 yet, Tommy. Jesus Christ. Santa said they did. <laughs> uh, I, I Like, this is, I mean, this is underrated. Santa said the elves <laughs> in Japan are making PS9s right now. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'd say this is definitely underrated, but I think it's more fun if it's accidentally, you know, like, like somebody needs to put a sign on your fucking door that, that I wasn't going to spill the beans about Santa not being real. He's fucking 10, you know, that kind of shit. I don't, I don't want to like go up to a three-year-old and be like, Hey, you want to shake some shit up? Santa Claus isn't fucking real kid. I always wonder what if like nobody ever told you that Santa wasn't real. Like you never found out, and then you move out on your I own. I think that's how. I think that's how we got Will Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. to be honest. Yeah, probably. Like you move out on your own, and you're all fucking pumped up, and you it fucking split happen. your Christmas tree up, and you set the cookies out, and you go to bed, dude. If you got and good there's parents, nothing there, and you're like, in. "What'd you do? <laughs> what I do? I didn't do anything wrong." Uh, that's where the parents have to be committed, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> they'd have you over for dinner. They yeah. roofie you. That way, you pass out, and they go in and put the presents in. They could get convicted for burglary <laughs> yeah. or some shit. Nobody I don't, ever told my son. We didn't steal anything. We, we gave him shit. <laughs> like, oh, God. What are you guys doing tonight? Well, Jimmy's coming over for Christmas dinner. <laughs> and then Paul and I are going to sneak into his house and put his presents under the tree. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's not getting married. I guarantee it. Uh, all right. And last one, overrated or underrated. He doesn't get what he wants and he fucks Santa's <laughs> mom. <laughs> <laughs> Just to talk shit. Yeah. Uh, PS5. Shit. <laughs> Fuck you. This is bullshit. Fuck you, fat man. <laughs> yeah. You fat diabetic fuck. <laughs> last one, overrated or underrated virtual reality porn. Overrated. I don't want to really? duck at the end of every scene. <laughs> fucking way overrated (laughs) oh jesus christ yes this is way overrated i don't know why this is a good idea regular porn was just fine what if they made it in 4d with scent (laughs) oh yeah that would be disgusting 
Oh, 4D porn would be absolutely disgusting. Yeah. yeah. They were they drew the line with 3D Doritos. I don't need 4D porn. <laughs> Dude, I think like that's some of like the oh, oh yeah, like strip clubs have this really really rank hidden smell. It's like covered up with all kinds of like frou-frou and perfume and shit, but it's just it's just vaginas and assholes it, that's all it is well, that's what's uh, hanging out there i know but yeah. it just got its own its own distinctive scent and it's yeah it's usually it's, that's why i suck dicks <laughs> <laughs> usually Pussy it smells good it's the asshole that stinks well usually that smells vanilla <laughs> is that yeah. what it is it <laughs> yeah. is vanilla a lot Derek you know what knows I mean? Derek knows it really is vanilla it a lot that's why not. i hate it i hate vanilla already yeah. that's probably where that came from that's probably where i remember from. i told a stripper a dad joke once it was so dumb we were at uh, that was whenever we met Rob Thomas oh, at, yeah. uh, at Eno downtown at the okay. wine bar. We did a comedy show. Wow, that's been a minute. It's been a long time. Yeah. It's been about 10 years ago. Yeah. And after the show, I was with Daniel P. Wardy, and I was like, let's, you know what? Fuck it. They're all going on. They got strippers on the party bus. Let's just go to the strip club. Fuck it. So we ended up going. It's one of the last times I've been. We went to Jezebel's, and Danny oh, was that's like. that's not the one to go to. <laughs> Danny goes talking to the stripper, and he's like, hey, you ever fuck anybody famous? And she's like, oh, there's this one guy from the A's. And not really. I did suck Snoop Dogg's dick. Nice. You hear say that, and then I fucking was like, ah, she's Snoop Lion. It was so stupid, dude. That's but funny. I was so stupid. That is so, so stupid. It was dumb as fuck. Uh, but I was so proud of that funny. moment. Was, oh, that's bad. Uh, but back then, it probably he probably was starting to go by Snoop. He was, it was like that, right that, in the was, very it, beginning it, of it. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Why you so were it was so like bad. fucking topical and so cheesy. Yeah. How about you, JP? Overrated or underrated VR porn? Overrated. Yeah. Real thing only. Yeah. yeah. I mean, why do you you don't need it? Uh, okay. There's just no reason. Yeah, you're lonely anyway. So I'm that, already alone. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right. Well, that's overrated or underrated. Now we get to move to the new segment that Plus, Derek JP doesn't even like bananas. <laughs> Not a, I like bananas. I don't like glizzos. <laughs> oh shit! All right. Well, now we get to move on to the new segment. It's called "That's Where I Draw the Line." Basically, Derek, I'm, it's it's basically questions. Only you get to draw the line of you know where it's that's just too much for you. Okay. Okay. And, Is that uh, why we call it? That's where I draw the line. <laughs> that's why. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, makes sense. Makes sense now. Anyways, uh, first one. Where do you draw the line? How many car accidents can you have before you should not be allowed to drive? Your fault or their fault? Oh, well, definitely your fault. Your fault? Sure. Three. Three total your entire life. Yeah. <sighs> if it's your fault, three. Damn, I'm... Ooh, that's pushing... That's thin ice for me. E yeah, if you're not paying attention and you fucking hit... Some, I mean, that's pretty much what a car accident... If it's 100% sure. your fault, you've hit somebody not paying attention. I will definitely say if you have three in one year, yeah, you're done. Three in a year. Uh, three in a year. You're done. I, yeah. I think you should definitely be done. No, this is uh, bad, bad stories, but my uh, acquaintance... I'm not going to blow them up, but my acquaintance that I, uh, I have to deal with has wrecked a total of six cars. Is that Nick? No, oh. no, somebody you haven't met. Oh. But he has wrecked six cars. So. You don't know him. He goes to a different school. <laughs> <laughs> he's pissed, Scott. He's calling him an acquaintance. He's like, yeah. fuck that yeah, guy. Fuck that guy. I don't, know who the, I don't even know who that guy is. <laughs> <laughs> but I fucked his mom, though. Yeah. Uh, if no. you look on Scotty's notebook, his name's probably written all over it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Uh, no, but I, I, I honestly What's next to the swastikas. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> I uh, if you if you if you wreck, uh, I'm gonna say five. If you have five, I was gonna go with five. If you have five wrecks in your lifetime, five, that's I'm good with that. that's it. Yeah. You're done. I, I go three. Now I don't include like I don't count like if you hit ice or like if you if you're driving you hit a patch of ice and wreck that to me that doesn't count you're talking about if you run I'm a red light if you run if a you red run light a stop and, sign if, if you, you rear in somebody off the road into absolutely, somebody yeah. absolutely that's not even an accident then that's just being a dumbass that's what i'm saying it's your fault no. most of the ones that are your fault mm. if you're gonna get a ticket for it then i've got one <laughs> you know what yeah, i mean but sure. i got two to go and then i'm giving up my license okay all right uh next one what is the maximum number of failed marriages one person can have before being legally cut off from ever marrying again? Man. Derek. 
there's a comedian named Jake Baker that has a fucking bit dude, about this. So awesome. <laughs> it's fucking so funny great. Too. And oh, I can't even great, do dude. the bit justice, but it's like, <laughs> hey, it's something about I don't even want to do it. Just I don't know if I could ever find it, but if I can, I'll I'll, I'll send it to you. But it's a fucking great bit. I'm gonna say failed marriages. Right? Failed marriages. Okay. Three. I, me and you. Me and JP are in the same boat. Okay. Derek. That is why I'm always going to be alone <laughs> from now until the end of time. You couldn't I, I hit three, three if you tried. I've only had two. I think Genetics. three's a good number. I mean, as married as fucking anybody else. <laughs> okay. you, get, you get one if you're like a right 18, 19, and you fucking marry some yeah, dumb broad. Yeah. And then you get another Did one. That. Yeah, you get another one. Uh, in Midlife? Your mid, yeah, early 20s. And then you're like, oh, all right, this is the last early God, 20s, early to mind. mid 20s. And then you get one more, and you're like, all right, God damn it, this is it. And if that bitch is crazy, you're done, dude. Just I got bad news. They're all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true, yeah. Uh, I, I think three is a good number. So um, we're all in agreement. That's yeah. unanimous. I don't. I know you know, but okay. So yes, I'm also saying three. But Melvin, you know who I'm talking about when I say Melvin? Yeah. Okay. You do realize Melvin's mom has married six times. Holy shit! Yeah, she gave your mom homemade <laughs> underwear <laughs> for their, a Christmas gift. <laughs> You know who told me that? Your mom. <laughs> yeah, crocheted uh, homemade underwear. Crocheted, huh? Yeah. <laughs> wow. That happened. That <laughs> it happened. really did. Okay. But Sounds uh, like a good deal. Melvin's mom has been married six times. All six husbands have mysteriously died. <laughs> <laughs> that chick's fucking crazy. Bat isn't that like a shit? Isn't that in this? Isn't that his stepmom? Uh, n- is I, that his mom, mom? That's his mom. God damn it! Who <laughs> crochets underwear? <laughs> JP needs to repair. Staff. Yeah, I was. Can I get her name yeah. number? They're washable. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're called Janes, and they're very. Uh, <laughs> they're not Hanes. They're they're Janes. very absorbent. <laughs> they're Janes three packs. Oh shit. If she could crochet them out of, like, sponge, that would be really nice. <laughs> I'm sure. but She's about ready to die anyway, so it's okay. Uh, well, I better get on it. <laughs> but anyways, our our, our uh, collective answer is three. My grandmother, I think, like, one, my, what, I guess I guess you can have a step-grandmother. I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's still, yeah. Yeah, I think she's, like, seven. Seven? Yeah, like, two of them were to my grandfather. <laughs> so she did it twice? Yeah. Oh, but I wow. want to say, like, seven. Like, a shitload of them. Yeah. How many, th- are you, would you ever consider, if, if your wife left you, would you ever get married again? Yeah, I would. I would probably. No way. No. Way. Well, that's but I wouldn't because do nobody it. else I would, would fucking sh- marry shut you, up. Scotty. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it a third you're, time. You're in my uh, boat. Jesus. Two's max for me. But uh, I have to admit, the second after the second one, I just don't fucking care anymore, man. I don't want it, at. dude. I'm telling you, it's unreal. And I'm not that dude. I yeah. am fucking very sexual i am very i need to have somebody like i'm sure. so much better with somebody that's why you're but depressed. now i don't yeah of course it is yeah but i don't have any desire yeah like it's been like three years and i just don't care yeah yeah it's horrible my heart is broken yeah please send money <laughs> or or dick pics or, or no. bull, bullets or both no or bullets bullets will work okay bullets. that's fine bullets are fine it's <laughs> fine anyway uh, and a shiny new firing gun. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Because we use that one yeah, on the yeah. weed. Uh, uh, anyways, next spark one. that shit. <laughs> next one. Uh, where do you draw the line? How do you know that you are way too drunk and need to start drinking water? This, um, this is a very good question for it, me. I'm telling you, yes, this is a very good question. When you go home with the drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, really? Man. Oh, it was. Absolutely, one of the most awful things I've ever done. Oh my god, it was really bad. That's not fun. And it turns out, well, it was my best. F- it turns out that the person that was feeding me the alcohol that was getting that the drag queen was paying the bartender to feed me liquor so that mm. I would go home with her, and it worked. <laughs> and I was so mad. But then that bartender and I became like fucking best friends, best friends, dude. I was like, if you're that fucking sadistic, we have to hang out together. <laughs> and turned out he's dead now. But 
uh, he passed away, but he sad. was just an amazing person, man. God, we're getting sad shit on this show. Yeah, thank, I don't feel so good, and I'm losing my voice. Yeah, and, I know. Uh, I, mine's a pretty telltale sign. If I if I can't walk, if I can't stand up, I will automatically uh, start asking for water. I, I if I if I cannot get from A to B <laughs> in a straight line. Something Note is, to self, bring a case of water this weekend. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of no walking for Scotty. Fuck you. But no, that's a telltale sign. If I'm if I'm getting a little too inebriated, I will start drinking water if I can't stand up. So, Derek? Uh, when the bartender gives it to me. <laughs> <laughs> like water? Yeah. 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 Like you're cut uh, off. There you go. Good, yeah. yeah, that's that's a good sign. Yeah. Uh, uh, I've done that to a few people as a bartender myself. Yeah. I think one of the worst for me was back whenever I was running a bar out east, and I got into it big time with uh, the other owner, and it got bad, and I was so fucking pissed, and I wanted to quit, and then they threatened to sue me because we had a contract, so I couldn't quit. Ooh. And I felt like totally fucking trapped. And I called the bar that the last bar I worked at, uh, where I still like to hang out. I called the bartender up at the O and I was like, Hey man, uh, if I bring in a bottle of root beer, like a two liter, will you make Jaeger barrels for me? And he's like, yeah, sure. No problem. So I show up with this two liter of root beer and I must've been there from like six <laughs> thirty in the afternoon till probably one in the morning. <laughs> oh, and my wife shows up at the time she was my girlfriend. <laughs> she shows up, dude, I was such a piece of shit. I just wanted to argue and fight. Like yeah. I was just, I was <clears throat> at that point and I'd yeah. had a bad day, horrible day. And, uh, I get my tab. Uh, Cause she's like, well, I want to stay and have a beer too. And I'm like, that's all right. I'm ready to go. Like, <laughs> So she fucking stays and has, I think, a beer. I don't even think she finished it. Well, the bartender felt bad. So the last five shots that I had, he rang up as beers because he just felt bad because my tab by myself was over $100. Jeez. And I was like, $100? Amateur. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was like, $100? Oh, I've spent way and more so than I that. And so I start looking through my tab. I didn't buy for anybody. It was just me. But I'm like, I looked at her, and I was like, I start looking over the tab, and I'm like, five Miller Lights? Oh, fuck. <laughs> you had five Miller Lights? Oh, no. $15. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm like, yeah. and I go, you're going to help me pay for this. Oh, oh God. And she's no. like, fine, and threw me a 20, and oh, it's like, get in the fucking car. God. And the fact that she married, first she said yes to marrying me <laughs> when I asked her, and it. then followed right. through. I'm just as surprised as everybody else, man. goddamn amazing. It is. Because we now we joke about it. Like, I, we'll go out, and we're out of the bar, and I'm like, you don't go past four. Keep it under five. <laughs> you don't go past four. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, what if I was just pissed off and ready to fight the world. Oh, I was yeah. so mad. And I think we've all been there. Yeah. yeah. That was terrible. I should have had water. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Where were you on that, Stoops? Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, next one. <laughs> How old is too old to still be living with your parents? 24. 24. I was going to say 23, 24. So 33 is out of the question? I mean, probably. Said guy that it has wrecked six cars? Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, what's his name? Uh, not, I'll talk about it after. Uh, you said this, it. Not when this fucking camera's on. Uh, but yes, I'm going to say. Uh, Must be his boss. Oh, it's the kid from a different school. That's right. That's, yeah. yeah, that yeah, kid. We don't the know. The kid from the Santa Claus. We don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm also gonna go with uh, 24. I think that's smart. Uh, I, I think 25 is even okay. No, uh, but you need to get out of the house. That's like bare. That's the maximum because you're going to college. Uh, hopefully, around around that you're, time, you're out of college. And at this point, yeah, yeah, <clears throat> at I mean, 20, at 25, you should be out of college, right? 24, 23, really, you should be out of unless you're doing like a six doctorate. Year, yeah, yeah so that's like why that. I say 20, 24, 18. You get in college, six years. That's it. Okay. I, I'm, I'm going to go with 25. JP? 24. 24? God damn. We're all just very, very close. And last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> no, not till this weekend. No, shut up, JP. Oh, uh, I think he's I not was... going to have any fun this weekend. No, I'm, I'm going to just drive by his house real slow. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking. 
<laughs> oh, I can't wait. No. So what you do last week? <laughs> okay. I got raped by JP. Next week's week week recap is going to be way different. Yeah, yeah. Scotty's going to be standing. <laughs> yeah. yeah he you won't be able to tell. I yeah. want to discover I have hemorrhoids. And talk about how he can't get that uh. taste out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Uh, last but it tastes like his <laughs> wife was out of town. <laughs> oh, gross. Uh, anyways, last one. What is the <laughs> maximum amount of bumper stickers you should put on one car? Zero. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> A fucking men. A fucking men. Zero. Nobody Zero. cares. Nobody, Nobody needs to gives know a it. shit. I think the same thing about personalized license plates. You fucking douchebags. <laughs> personalized personalized license plate I'm a little bit more okay with no. if they're clever and funny. Just put a fucking license plate on your car. <laughs> fucking drive like the rest of us. You don't have to have a I hate them. Because you know what that bumper sticker becomes? It becomes like another thing to tag that car with. So it's like if this if this um, if this Cubs fan in front of me is right. is driving like an absolute idiot, I am gonna go. Let's fucking go, Cubs fan! Get the fuck out of the way. That's the only thing it does. But other than that, no, you should have zero 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 on your car. Nobody gives a shit. However, I will say this: in my twenties, I had one, and it was a magnet. Okay. And it got me out of speeding ticket. <laughs> oh, yeah? It, it, was, it uh, said, I will suck your dick to get out of a speeding <laughs> yes, ticket. <laughs> and then Scotty's phone number underneath. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it uh, it looked like support our troops, like the yellow ribbon that they have, support our troops, but it said support midgets. Oh, nice. And so I was going down Kellogg, and I got pulled over. Some guy wouldn't let me over when I'm trying to get to my exit. So the cop pulls me over, and I was – polite i'm like man you need, i said here's my license license do you need my insurance and he's like yeah i was like do you need my registration so i handed it all to him well when he gets out of his car he stops i was driving my truck at the time he stops and looks at the back of my truck and i'm like what the fuck's he looking at like it's daytime i don't have a my lights aren't on so it's not like i have a fucking tail light out and so he goes up gets all my shit goes back to his car Sits in his car. He's got his book. And I see him, like, look over his book. And I'm like, what the fuck is he looking at? Because I forget I have this on the back of my truck. Um, I had it at one point, And uh, I was getting my truck fixed. Somebody backed into it. And so when they dried it and that, like, the, the heat thing that they put the, your vehicle in to dry the paint, it fucking flaked it all off. It crumbled, essentially. Mm -hmm. So somebody else found one and gave it to me at the bar I worked at. So backtrack. So he's looking at his book. Uh, gets out of his car, stops at my truck, looks, takes a couple steps, takes a step back, looks again, shakes his head, and kind of laughs. And I'm like, what the fuck is this guy looking at? Because I forget that it's back there. Did I hit a hooker again? <laughs> right? Stuck to yeah. the bumper. Right. <laughs> so he gets up to the car, and he goes, let me ask you something. And I said, yes, sir. He goes, that sticker on the back of your truck, that got anything to do with me? <laughs> And at the, I look over at that cop, and that cop's like 5'9", five, 5'8", five, and I'm like, oh, fuck. And uh, he goes, or no, he wasn't 5'8", he was like 5'7". And I go, oh, shit. Uh, I go, no. I said, I'm sorry. I got this thing with midgets. I want one. And, and a friend found that, thought it'd be funny. He goes, well, I'm going to be honest with you. That's hilarious. And that's why I'm letting you off with a warning. Where did he get that? And I said, back then, I said, Spencer's, I believe. And so he's like, well, I'm headed there now. So he fucking takes off and goes to Spencer's. So I go to the bar I worked at. That guy that gave it to me is sitting at the bar. I walk in. I go, man, I owe you a beer. And he goes, no, you don't. What for? I said, you just got me out of a ticket. And he goes, no, man. I said, at least let me let me get you a beer for what you to make up for what you paid for that. He goes, I didn't pay anything for that. I stole it off somebody's car in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking perfect. Oh. All right. Took a long way to get there. When yeah, we got did. There. yeah, we that did. That was get there. a great story. I'm glad you told it. That's where I draw the line. Again, if you have any suggestions for these, send them to us uh, at Instagram, which is at Laughing on the Sidelines, or on X slash Twitter, which is at LOT Sidelines. Now we can move on to questions and preguntas. Yay. Right? Oh, yeah, man. So my, I think this is, a, this is your favorite part of the show, right? It is. I thought it was. Well, it's actually Jeremy's, but he's not here. Uh, but, anyways, first question. Rejected U.S. roadside attractions. Derek's house, <laughs> Scotty's house, <laughs> no, and my roommate's house. <laughs> I don't even get a house. <laughs> okay, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, you lost at the game of life. I did, man. <laughs> that's okay. yeah, I did. Uh, largest World War II concentration camp. I think that would be fine in Arizona somewhere. Okay. Derek, 
Come see the world's tallest midget. <laughs> and it's just some guy. Oh, sorry. Wrong button. It's just some dude. It's just some dude. How about me? My, he's, my he's, size? He's like 6'2". <laughs> he's not even a midget. He's like, I identify. <laughs> some midgets. Yeah. Hey, that works. Uh, next question. J- oh, yeah. JP oh. answered, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, next question. Inappropriate descriptive colors for the adult box of crayons. Period, blood red, dead baby blue, and Parkinson's pink. Why Parkinson's pink? I don't know. It just sounded like it's like the ribbon color for Parkinson's. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about you, JP? Uh, white power. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> That's what color, color, color uh, Scotty sheets are. <laughs> oh, yeah. come on, man. <laughs> that is a beautiful color. What color? That's white power. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, uh, how about you, Derek? Discharge brown. Oh, gross. Oh. Ugh, that's disgusting. JP knows or, a lot or about that. Or it could that. be discharge green or it, oh. discharge yellow. All the discharge. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. That's just a gross word. Uh, it is. It's discharge. really. It is gross. Yes. Yeah. Uh, just let me leave from the army. Don't discharge me. <laughs> uh, all right. Next and question. And don't dispute discharge either. <laughs> just, just don't ask me what that is. <laughs> What what is this on my account? Don't ask. What's discharge? <laughs> R. Kelly Yellow. Oh God. Oh, R. Kelly Yellow is pretty good. I like that one. Uh, next. Better than White Power. <laughs> yes. uh. Uh, next question. I want a bumper sticker that says "Honk if you like blank." Blowjobs from dudes. <laughs> Now, that's a bumper sticker I'd put on my car. I'm sure it is. Ah, oh, Jesus. Uh, honk if you like spanking your kids in public places. That's mine. How about you, Derek? Uh, honk if you like gaslighting random drivers. <laughs> <laughs> the what? fuck did I do? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> just, just waving your middle finger around like you're getting them all. Yeah. Like, fuck, I don't know what I did to this guy. Me neither. <laughs> all right. Uh, next one. I don't know if I should speed up or slow down. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> all right. It's ridiculous. All you're right. not done yet, are you? No, I'm done. <laughs> okay. I was waiting for more. I know. I was too. All right. Maybe I didn't signal. <laughs> it just never ends. Uh, oh, I like okay. following too close. <laughs> too far away. I, I, I knew you weren't done. Okay. All right. Anyways. <laughs> God damn it, you jackass. Uh, what are some odd conversational topics between a ventriloquist and his puppet? Smell my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we're all going there. If you That's want where I was at. Yeah, yeah I know. Oh, geez. Would you, or or have, pull my finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a proctology exam? There you go. Not so far. <laughs> or or the, deeper. Yeah, deeper. Yeah. Famous line from Fletch. Jesus, you got your whole fist up there, Doc? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah. a good one. Uh, and last but certainly not least, what would be the worst theme for a pinball machine? Auschwitz. Well, yeah, I was going to say the Holocaust. God damn it. I think it's got to be. Well, you got to get the ball into the oven. and then. <laughs> like Jesus a, Christ. Yeah, I mean, there, there could be, yeah. I don't know how, if it gets worse than that. Uh, I don't know, man. I, uh, two I, girls, one cup. Oh God, no! <laughs> the pinball experience. No, I'm <laughs> date. What is it? Date to line catch NBC? a predator. Yeah, to catch a, to predator. catch a predator pinball. That's yeah. crazy. That would be good. That fucking van. You got to hit the van or yeah. some shit like that. Have a seat. <laughs> Have a seat. <laughs> Ding, 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 ding. Have a seat. Is, uh, I was here to meet Billy. Billy's not home. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, um, I guess I'm going to do it, but that would be 9-11. I, I could be one, too. Oh, man, that pinball is taking out the towers like a motherfucker. They have one called Rescue 911. Do they? But it's based off the show. But not I understand, but does it but have the Twin Towers? Going? No. Damn it, then I'm no. out. Sorry. No. It used to. <laughs> it used to. <laughs> yeah. Not anymore. Not anymore. I do them off of movies. You could do like My Girl. 
Oh, yeah. Bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah the bees. bees. Every time you hit the thing, just bees fly out of the machine. Absolutely. They've got a, uh, what's that stupid fucking show that everybody watches about zombies? Oh, Walking, Walking Dead. Dead. They that's have the, that. Oh, yeah. That's a pinball machine. Oh, no. Ro- roots. <laughs> roots. That would be a, that's a terrible one. <laughs> Yeah. Toby, 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 <laughs> high score. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. I bet if you go in that room over there oh, God. right now, there's a Roots <laughs> pinball machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bet. God damn it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas for this out, week. Like, Kunta Kente. <laughs> yeah, right. you spell it out. Yeah. <laughs> you hit the drop targets. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, shit. That is questions and preguntas. Uh, again, guys, if you have any suggestions, send them to us. We would appreciate it. But now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Um... I did not win last week. Mike actually won last week for uh, f- it was a favorite TV show theme, theme songs. songs. Uh, Mike won, and I got to clear something up real quick before we move on with this shit. So last week I got called out, which it was correct. Both JP and myself started singing. I I, I took Family Matters <laughs> as as my favorite like theme song or one of them. And both JP and myself actually were singing Days Go By, which is actually the full wow. house. Yeah. yeah, apparently. So I was so pissed off with myself because I was like, Jesus Christ, they sound exactly alike because the Family Matters is, uh, is uh, oh, shit. It's, I don't know now. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, As Days Go By. Uh, it's As Days Go By. Days Go By. It's Bigger Love, the family. Okay. That one, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm like, Jesus God Christ. Goddamn, my pussy's wet. I know, right? But here's the thing. So, so when I was I wondered a, what that was. When I watched, uh-huh. <laughs> when I watched Gee, those shows. Somebody get me a banana. When I watched those shows as a kid, it always went Full House and then Family Matters. Yeah. They were right, right. after each yeah, other. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, well, that's an easy way to mix them up. Uh, and then I'm like, God damn, I'm listening to these songs. That sounds really similar. Both the songs sound sim- really similar. Guess what? It's the same fucking guy sings both songs. Yeah. It's the same fucking guy. Yeah. So, all right, we messed up, but there's a reason why we messed up, and I still like Family Matters better than the Full House one. So, Jesus Christ, you're just throwing I'm shit everywhere. I'm just throwing everywhere. shit everywhere. So. I think that was Derek's pussy again. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was the banana. Yeah. All right, so now uh, that that's out of the way. I, uh, I started watching... Have you seen the show Is It Cake on Netflix? No. I love it. I can't. So I love they'll it. They'll take like like this football helmet, for instance. Oh, and, I know and, what it is. They'll have like three football helmets, and then one of them is a cake, but it looks like exactly, and you have to guess which one's cake. Oh, yeah. I think they should do a glory hole edition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Cut a dick off or yeah. not yeah, a dick? They're like, all right, you got to be very brave to be on that show. <laughs> Maybe it's people that are transitioning that don't want it anyway. Yeah. They're like, I think number three's cake. <laughs> God Let's damn it. looks out. so realistic. Look <clears throat> at the vein. Like just. Yeah. Those, the, whoever's actually not the cake yeah. better be on some fucking like Viagra, like <laughs> hardcore. Yeah. You just so, got to stay hard. Like, yeah. I, I know it's not that one. I can see <laughs> it's it. Twitching. Yeah. It's twitching. It's, <laughs> it's moving. Anyways. Uh, but yeah. Uh, so. We have a, a draft. So basically the draft, I technically get championship picks because Mike won last week's draft. So congratulations to him. Uh, JP didn't do very well. No, I did not. Uh, and that's man, okay. Which is I weird. voted for JP. You know, Derek uh, voted for me. That's probably the jinx. Uh, I know. Uh, so JP gets the sandwich picks because Derek wasn't here. So he gets the first pick this week. And we are inspired uh, by this week's draft because every single show we do, uh, we take a break after questions, go outside and decide whether or not or what we're going to draft. And it just so happens JP has some really bad luck tonight. Um, Your neighbor <laughs> fucking hit my car. <laughs> I don't know how that's my bad luck. I, I, don't, I mean, yeah, it's probably mine. A motherfucker. <laughs> With his fist. <laughs> 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 He's, <laughs> technically, that's a hate crime. Right. He's like, it fuck is. these faggots. Wham. <laughs> that's oh what happened. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, uh, you yeah. saw my bumper sticker that says <laughs> "Honk if you like to be sucked off by a dude." That's exactly <laughs> right. And he, uh, you know, backed into JP's car. But obviously, we're going to get taken care of. However, it definitely influenced the decision of this week's draft. You said that guy's a body guy, right? He like he's a an auto he's just, body. He's just a mechanic. He's a shade tree mechanic. I, I like to think that he just drives by looking for business and just slams into <laughs> shit. Rent new like this it. week. Seems get the like dodge. That might be true. <laughs> Good me. <laughs> uh, but you know, you, you just you never know. Uh, I never my, met I never met him before, so I don't know him very well. My best friend Brian, his dad. I uh, wish I still hadn't met him. <laughs> <laughs> I envy those who have, right? Yeah. Uh huh. My best friend Brian. One day he called. He, t- he calls me and he's like, "Man, I'm kind of worried about my dad." And I said, "Why? What's going on?" He's like, "Man, I think he's just. I don't know if he's just getting up. He's getting older, and I don't know if he, maybe he's losing a little bit or what. But uh, he ran into a building, <laughs> and I was like. Like, what, like naked? And he's like, no, with his truck. And I was like, holy fuck. And he goes, yeah, he said that the accelerator got stuck. And I think he just mixed up the gas and the brake. Right. And I said, what did he hit? And he goes, he ran into an insurance office. I'm like, that's the perfect thing to run into. Just fucking roll down the window and be like, I'd like to make a claim. (laughs) That's fucking perfect. How convenient! That was like the most convenient thing you could fucking wreck into. One hundred percent, or a body shop. <laughs> yeah, you just get out and be like, "Wow, you know anybody can fix this?" Yeah. Here, I'll just cut you a check. I'll be back in a week. No shit. Uh, but yeah, very very <laughs> sorry about your situation there, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My bad, man. Uh, so, anyways, it was influenced, um, and this week we are going to do a draft of. The worst car accessories. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Derek gets first pick. JP gets the sandwich picks because those are his favorite. And uh, I get the championship pick. So we're kick it off. Uh, Derek, what's the worst car accessories? Truck nuts. Uh, oh, <laughs> I said worst, not best. Truck nuts. No, those are the best. <clears throat> no. When I was in high school, I did. I had a pair. But they weren't actual, like, you know, the, the ones that actually look like testicles. They were the ones that hung off your chin? No. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, they were the they were the big, huge, thick chain that was wrapped around the uh, um, the hitch. And then it had, like, these giant, like, actual nuts. But, yeah, like right, mechanic great. nuts. Great. Anyways, uh, JP, what is your first pick? Um, uh, it's a bumper sticker. <laughs> It's okay. the my kid, my kids an honor student. Honor stu- ah, Damn it, that was the yeah. one I was fuck. going. Fuck. fuck. Yeah. Is honor spelled correctly or incorrectly? No, it's right. Oh, damn it. Damn. Okay. Good one. Mm-hmm. It is really good. Okay, I am going to go. I talked about this last week, and it still bothers me. People that put women's underwear on the rearview mirror. I don't understand that, um, but I am also going to go with. What if they're skid marks? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> it's like, does somebody they're inspect spotted. though? Uh, but yeah, another one that really makes me mad is underglow. I don't like the LED underglow okay. at all. I think it looks so stupid. Okay. Um, but you know, that's me. Uh, JP, you get your second pick. Uh, curb feelers. Curb feelers. You know yeah. what those are? I think. They're yeah, like they little go. fucking wires that stick out from your bumper so that you don't mess up your rims. Oh, it. God. I'm in the automotive industry, and I honestly can say I didn't know what those were. <laughs> yeah, I knew what they were. <laughs> wow. Okay. I feel like an idiot. Anyways, uh, Derek, you get two in a row. Stick families. Stick oh, families. Good one. Yeah, good that one. is a good one. Uh, all right. And next one. Uh, the skull shifter. The oh, <laughs> shift God, knob. You're picking cool shit. I, <laughs> I said worst shit. The skull or the eight ball or whichever one. Yeah. Skull shifter. Those are cool. Skull shift knob. I like the pistol grip shifter. Those, oh, those, are, those are cool. Fucking loser. Oh, they're awesome. Some uh, guy is listening to this show right now going, that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and, uh, JP, you get one. The fake turbo dumps. Oh, you know what I'm talking about? I think so. Yeah. Psh, 
yeah psh, but yeah. they really don't have a turbo yeah they're fake as fuck yep i, I know which what you're talking about uh-huh. okay okay it's fake turbo dumps oh <clears throat> um <laughs> This is probably my number one, but I knew nobody would pick it because it's probably just me. But the really shitty alarm systems, the ones that go off all of the all fucking time. And they never and, stop. And, yeah. But they have like the different like alert noises. The, yeah, the stereo. Exactly oh, I fucking about. hate those yeah. with a passion. And then. I used to be in high school, Jason Perkins, and he had a Jeep and he had one of those alarms on it and we would go set it off. Every time we walk, we'd just shake it until yeah. it set off. If you set it off three times, it would drain his battery. <laughs> <laughs> shit. So we were always setting his shit off. I I have one that I think is going to be taken by the time it gets back to me, but I cannot go without the black ice air fresheners. Okay. It's so it's so fucking stereotypical. So it's just dumb. I know why you don't like it. I think it actually smells good. I don't, I don't but know everybody like has it. them. <laughs> They're cheap as shit, and they're good, but I just think everybody has to do something different. Get the ones that you slide under your seat. Those are way better. Uh, JP? Fake air scoops. You know what I'm talking <laughs> about. Yes. That is a good one, dude. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Damn it. I didn't even think about that shit. All right. And, Derek, you get your last two. Old political bumper stickers? Yeah. I, like the I, ones that are like, back. yeah, like somebody that ran for school board in 08. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. a, that's a good pick. <clears throat> and your last pick. Hmm. There's quite a few. I know. And I, I'm missing some shit. I know. I am too. I need a reminder list. Yeah. I'm going just off the, off the dome here. I am too uh, until now. Oh, boy. I'm thinking. I, I know. Hate, I, I hate, know. I hate dead air. I know. Uh, it's okay. It's it's a lot of it's it's pretty tough. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm glad I looked some of these up because now I got more ideas. Oh damn it! Let me see your list. <laughs> <laughs> no. I only got one pick. I know. I know you do. And there's actually a whole bunch. But oh, there's that's a that's, that's a, good, a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. But um, oh shit. Yeah. Um, I got that you one. You got that one already. Yeah, Truck Nuts I already had. That was the one that I was like, oh, yeah, that's a good one. Actually, I think I got one that's not on there. Okay. What do you got? The bra. That was the one I was talking yeah. about. <laughs> was the car bra. <laughs> uh, I forgot about those. Yeah. That's, uh, I got an honorable mention, too. Okay, that's done. good. That's good. JP. My last pick. Yes. Oh, that was the one I I'm going to go take. with broken headlight, crumpled hood, <laughs> and fucked up fender. <laughs> I think you might win. New damaged car. <laughs> yeah. Those aren't great accessories. Those are not. Those are expensive accessories, mm, though. Fantastic. Oh. All right. I am going to wrap this. I'm really glad I came over here tonight. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel terrible. If he fucked up my bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go fucking unless, ham. Unless you hide it underneath the hood of the of the car, I think I you're, don't. But I think you're gonna be okay. They don't like to be jostled around. I I know it's a it's it's not a cool thing anymore, but I still every once in a while I see them and it still kind of cracks me up. But I am going to wrap this one up with spinning wheels. Yeah, yeah, that was the one I was originally yeah. going to and I forgot. Uh huh. That's a good one. That's that's why <laughs> why. It doesn't even look cool. Yeah. It's just stupid. Chrome I, wheel covers. Yes, I was yeah, another those one. Are bad. And the club. The, the club. The club? Uh, yeah. I don't remember the and club. I just saw a news story oh, the, the other day. Oh, the locking steering yeah. wheel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. The club. God, that's such a 90s thing. Yeah. And then they came out with the door club. <laughs> and all this other shit. They've got like a whole line of products now. <laughs> yeah. Um, so in and the then you can actually get uh, a new thing every month that they'll send you if you're in the club club. Yeah. <laughs> oh. club hey, oh. uh, but uh, we didn't say it. But <laughs> the like, wife club. Walmart steering wheel covers. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. And, and then they just all started like coming back to me. But but that those were those are so dumb. But everybody seems to have them. Is mm -hmm. the Walmart steering wheel covers, but then the other thing was like the shitty floor mats, like the shitty Walmart floor yeah. mats. <clears throat> um, I'd say body kits that are this different color than the car. Oh yeah, when like, they have like the body kit body accessories, kits and it's not even the uh, same color as the Jesus. car, and they're 
they're working on it. You know, so, yeah. so it's actually really funny working in the automotive industry. Whenever people come in with cars like that and they have like these, there's always that guy that brings in a vehicle that has the sticker for what he wishes his truck actually was like the Toyota TRDs. Whenever it's a two wheel drive and it definitely isn't a TRD, but it has like the light Casey light bar and shit. Yeah. We make so much fun of you when you do that. Yeah. So don't. That, right. That's my deal. Good draft. That's a good draft. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you can go to um, facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for whoever has the best list of the worst car accessories. Or whoever has the worst ca- looking car. Or worst looking car. Yeah, I think okay. that's me right now. Uh, probably. Yeah. That, it, c- it could be. It probably already was. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also go to Twitter slash whatever X, I guess you could say, which is at LOT sidelines and also vote there. And whoever wins gets uh, nothing i guess to help jp fix his car uh but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week all right ladies and gentlemen this is our laughing on the sidelines Shitty situation brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and uh, from BattleCordCarePackages.com. They have their uh, masquerade, their gold tie masquerade that's coming up. Uh, I believe it is uh, the 26th of August. Uh, if you have not already gone to BattleCordCarePackages.com and check them out, uh, they have already surpassed their goal. So that's uh, absolutely awesome. Uh, congratulations to them, Curtis and his family. Uh, but if you have not, please go and check them out. Excellent family, and it's for a good cause. Um, so August 26th is that masquerade, and we want to support them in any way we can. Battlecornatcarepackages.com. But this week's shitty situation is, would you rather have to eat a glizzo? That was <coughs> the glizzo, do you remember? Um, yes, it is a banana out of... <laughs> Lizzo's vagina? Yep. That's correct. Very well. Okay. Uh, or <laughs> have to have Gliz or l- not Glizzo's, but Lizzo. <laughs> now you're gonna call it Glizzo I'm going to call her Glizzo on. from now Fantastic. on. It's going gonna, it's gonna to stay that way. Or would you rather have to drive around with Lizzo's panties wrapped around your rear view mirror, and they are uh, very fresh panties after a three-hour performance? Oh, my god that is a this is like my fucking nightmare road trip <laughs> <laughs> just oh. saying that is a visual obstruction is what that is <laughs> those are big fucking panties they actually can dub as a car bra <laughs> <laughs> they sure can car cover <laughs> um i am gonna make this very easy i know it's gonna stink but I'm rolling the windows down and yeah, I'm going with I'm the with underwear, you, man. man. I'm going with the underwear. There's I, no way I mean a banana out of her pussy. I am not showing There's that. There's no I'm, fucking way. I'm not way. giving that woman nope. any pleasure ever. I'm never eating a banana out of never. No way, no how. Uh-uh. Well, I mean. <laughs> I know Derek's going banana. He's a fat <laughs> it's, kid. It's not no way, no we how. Like sweets, not fruit. <laughs> yeah, it's not no way, well, no how. But it's definitely not something I want to do. And I think no. I can I can survive the smell, the mustiness, and the shit stuff. I've survived it once. I'll survive it again. Uh huh. So I'm definitely going with the massive, assive panties that'll probably weigh down my rear view meal and mirror and probably pull it off. So yeah, I, it could be a rear view meal too. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. It could. Yes. Uh, Derek, how about you, buddy? Uh, I abstain. You abstain. <laughs> I abstain from this vote. You are glizzo eating, aren't you? Nah. How? how how far ends the banana? <laughs> I mean, it's all the way. It's all the way. So you gotta like suck the banana it's like, out of it. It's like oh, bobbing yeah. for bananas. It's oh. not like it's just sitting in there like a holster, no, like a no, popsicle. No, you gotta go in and get it. You are actually eating pussy and kind of sucking cock at the same yeah. time for oh, once boy. in your life. And let me tell you, it's not as good as you think. Because I thought like if it was just kind of just like sitting in <laughs> no, there like that, it's in and there. she's just kegling it, squeezing it. <laughs> nah, you I, can just barely see the cap. Oh God. <laughs> Oh, right yeah. after a concert too, yeah. she took those oh, that, panties that's off. Not even, and it's, and it's an unpeeled it, banana. You have to oh, unpeel it with your mouth. Oh, that's it's unpeeled. No, it's peeled. Oh, God damn it! It's if all it, soaked. If it's unpeeled. I'm going no. banana. No, it's peeled. <laughs> it's peeled. God, you got to soak up some of the nastiness. 
Yeah. I, or, or you can take the underwear that she just throws. How long you got to drive around with this underwear? I'm yeah. saying a month. Oh, yeah, definitely underwear. Easy. Windows down, 65. <laughs> can, can I rent a car and drive it right. with that car? <laughs> exactly. Could it be a rental? It could be a permanent I'll fucking smell. roll in a Ford Escape with that thing on the hood. <laughs> I mean, go for it, man. All right, I'm going to the drawers, I guess. Yeah. God, dang, smart. Clean sweep. Yeah, but we, if I get into three accidents with them, I lose my license. That's true. They are. They do block the vision. <laughs> yeah, they do. They're a, a visual obstruction. Then you could run into a building and nobody even <laughs> yeah. second guess it. I'd like to make a claim. <laughs> Maybe that's what happened. Maybe that guy has Lizzo's panties <laughs> hanging from his rearview mirror. Now you hate her even more. Yeah. Lizzo's panties yeah. were blocking his rearview mirror the my, whole time. I fell. I apologize. <laughs> I had this pair of panties <laughs> hanging from my rear view mirror, blocking my view, and I just so happened to hit your car. <laughs> you understand. <laughs> and then he pulls them out and stretches them and shows you how yeah. wide those uh, things are. And you're just like, sir, I got to be honest with you. I think uh, I understand. Have you ever seen those pumpkin chunking videos? <laughs> yes. I think you could use her these like that. <laughs> for, for, the for the fling? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I wonder if she could shoot a banana out of it. <laughs> oh, I guarantee it. Probably a whole bunch. 100%. 100%. All Probably right. a whole banana tree. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is this week's uh, shitty situation. Uh, yeah, uh, and it was a great episode. I had a lot of fun with you guys. I know Derek still has baseball coming up. Mm -hmm. Do we have any shows coming up? No, we don't have a comedy club. <laughs> well, we got one that's trying. Well, they're experimenting okay yeah. i'll take that yeah it's college for them okay that's fine college <laughs> was a fun time can be you never went didn't mean i never attended classes in college but okay. i've been to a campus okay fair jp <laughs> i, don't I had a blast <laughs> right up until break <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, thank you again, JP. Sincerely do appreciate it. We will see you next week and uh, probably much sooner whenever you give me a call on uh, yeah, Monday. Yeah, I'll bring my car to you. I'm sure you will. And I will help you out, buddy. I'm Fantastic. Here. You're the best, buddy. Yep. Uh, Derek, thanks for bringing the show down as usual. That's sincerely my appreciate job. it. Yeah, no, it is. Good, good one. Uh, it's actually Derek's bad luck that caused the car I accident. Probably, it's just the pessimistic yeah. I vibe. I manifested it. Yeah, totally. I knew it. Uh, but anyways, uh, thank you both. Um, yeah, sincerely do appreciate it. We'll see you next week, JP. Derek, go do your job. Okay. And ladies and gentlemen, we sincerely do appreciate everything that you do to share this show. If you have anybody, or if you know anybody that would like this show, tell them about it. But as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, we hope you're in the middle of a break of a shitty fucking podcast and somebody <laughs> backs straight into your dark green Chevy Cruze. If you don't like us, <laughs> tell your enemies. And until next time, guys, someone help me. I've got a flat tire. <laughs> until next time. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Until next time. You're in good hands. <laughs> Until next time. Keep laughing, asshole. We will see y'all later. Take care. <laughs>